Hey guys, it's Joe. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Coming at you tonight with a uh, horror movie review. And I uh, just recently saw uh, the latest horror movie that has just come out in theaters um, by the name of Krampus. Now, I'm sure most of you guys know about Krampus by now. It's um, been getting quite a lot of buzz in the horror community. Uh, it is was directed um, by um, Michael Doherty um, from Trick or Treat fame. And, uh, of course, that is why this movie is gaining a lot. It has been getting a lot of buzz because of the Trick or Treat connection. Um, you know, Trick or Treat has kind of become a cult classic in the horror community. So when people found out that um, he was directing Krampus, it uh, kind of caught a bit of a buzz. Um, and the trailer, of course, got people a little excited. Um, but if you guys don't know what Krampus is about, um, what, this will be a non-spoiler review too also. Um, but cr basically, really quick plot synopsis, synopsis of Krampus is about a uh, young boy um, you know, his family is kind of, they're kind of struggling. Um, you know, the husband and wife are fighting a lot and, uh, the family's kind of growing apart. So, uh, the kid kind of writes a letter to, uh, Santa, um, uh, which is then discovered by his, um, cousins, um, who, you know, kind of mock him about it. So he gets all upset and he ends up ripping up the letter throwing it into the sky, and um, it kind of gets swept away by magic um, into the grips of Krampus, um, which is kind of like the, your basic plot synopsis. I'm not going to go too much more into it, just um, because I don't want to spoil this movie for you guys, because it just came out. Um, so, oh, I mean, overall, what did I think of Krampus? I really enjoyed Krampus. I thought it... Um, was really well done. I have said in my previous um, horror movie reviews, some of the ones you've seen this year, I have expressed um, my displeasure with some of the comedy that these horror movies have been putting in to, um, into the, the directors have been putting into these horror movies. And um, Green Inferno is a prime example. It That I felt like did not work. The comedy in that movie did not work at all. The comedy that was put into this movie actually worked. I would say about 90% of the time, the comedy in this movie worked. Um, th this is a total horror comedy. Um, I honestly, if you're looking for a movie that's going to scare you, I don't think this will be uh, that, it's not that type of movie. Um, you know, maybe for younger, um, a younger audience, for sure, it might scare the kids. But as an adult, you're, I don't think you'll be really scared um, with this movie. But it doesn't take away from it being a, um, a good movie. Um, it is thoroughly enjoyable. Just know going in, it is not a scary or creepy movie. It's played more f as a straight horror comedy. Um, a very dark horror comedy. I gotta say, this movie was very um, dark. Uh, you know, even with the comedy, it is a it sets a pretty serious tone um, along the way, and then it breaks up breaks it up with the comedy. Um, but I gotta say, the ending was very dark, um, which I loved. I thought it was fantastic the way it, it ended. I know a lot of people did not, but I think a lot of people are interpreting the ending the wrong way. Um, the way I interpreted it was a lot more dark of an ending. Um, but overall, um, just a really enjoyable movie. One of the best horror movies I've seen this year it is going to, without a doubt, be on my, the top of my year list. Maybe not the very top, but it is definitely going to be in my top five of the year list. Um, so if I were to rate Krampus, I would give, I would give Krampus an eight out of 10, um, which is one of the best ratings I've given this year. Um, that's, I mean, it is going to be a movie I will revisit every single Christmas. It is just such a fun movie. Like, um, the, the creatures in this movie, I mean, because you see Krampus, but there's all, Krampus also has his minions, which are like his little creatures and stuff, which, um, 
they were all pretty fantastic. I don't want to give them away, but Krampus's like little minions are all really, really awesome um, and just really enjoyable. And Krampus in gen um, in general, he looks awesome in this movie. Um, I'm not going to describe what he looks like, but he I thought they did an excellent job with how Krampus looked in this movie. Um, but yeah, so that's it. An 8 out of 10 for Krampus. Um, I would say it's worth going to see in theaters for sure. Um, you know, if you're a horror fan, you, especially a horror comedy fan, you are absolutely going to love this movie. But, you, I mean, you know, I keep saying it's horror comedy just because I don't want people going into this movie thinking it's going to be a, like a really serious horror movie. This movie, it doesn't take itself too seriously, which is why it works so well. So um, I just want to warn people going in that are expecting this to be like straight horror. It's not. It has the comedy tones. It is. It goes lighthearted. It is. It does get dark in parts, but it it never takes itself too seriously. And um, yeah, so definitely, I will say it's worth watching theaters. But if you can't get to theaters, definitely worth a, you know a, a rental or even a purchase because. This is a movie I am going to revisit every single Christmas. It is a new, like, Christmas classic, I think, just because, um, you know, it's just the fact that it's set in Christmas time and you have the whole uh, Christmas atmosphere and you have the horror tones. As a horror fan, this will be a movie I will watch pretty much every single Christmas. Um, so that is it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have seen Krampus, definitely let me know what you thought of it. Uh, but once again, 8 out of 10 for Krampus, uh, a definite must-watch if you're a horror fan. Um, so that is it, guys. I hope uh, everyone has a great night, and we'll see you all real soon.